When you take the creators of South Park and the music behind Frozen, you get the 2011 Tony Award winner for Best Musical, The Book of Mormon, now on stage at the Fisher Theater until November 13th. Joining me now live in the studio is Gabe Gibbs, who plays the lead, Elder Price, and you grew up in Rochester Hill. I sure did. And Derek C., a proud U of M grad, member of the ensemble, making his tour debut. That's Glad right. to have you both here. Right out of the gate, we should mention, for everybody watching at home, this is not a show for kids. It's, uh, it's, it, uh, it has adult themes, yeah. and religion is the subject matter, so there's, you know, there's some satire that takes place. That's they, true. These are the South Park guys. That's true, yeah. We, we, I like to say there's, there's some spicy language in the show that you may <laughs> want to be cautious with. You mean like heck and darn? That's it. Um, you got yeah, it. That, yeah. He knows. <laughs> All right. He knows. So uh, tell us about the plot. What happens in the Book of Mormon? How do you make a Broadway play? out of this subject matter. Yeah, so we have, um, like, like you guys said, it's the, the South Park Minds who, who came together with Bobby Lopez who wrote all the music for Frozen. Um, and it's a story of uh, Mormon boys who get sent to Uganda to, to change the world out there and, and things, the things don't go as planned, right? Nope. How do they not go as planned? Uh, well, there's a, there's, a, there's a warlord there who, uh, whose name we cannot say on television. Right. Um, who is in charge of in charge of the village and sort of uh, uh, and we come in and, and try and smooth things over. Right? It's Michigan, er, it's missionaries in Uganda, uh -huh. and and the culture clashes that ensue exactly. and the comedy arises you got from it. that. And along you got the way, it. there's probably some profanity and some suggestive situations. Oh yep. yeah, that's right. So how does it feel to be on a tour like this? It's great. Uh, we were we were just talking about it earlier. As as. 20-something guys, it's, it's a lot of fun. We've got, we've got people on the tour who have families, so that can be hard, but, but for us, we're having a blast, yeah, man. Yeah, see all the parts of America have a best time. Yeah, yeah. it's good. On, do, it, do it on somebody else's dime, too, which is right. nice. <laughs> well, in a way, you're like missionaries for the show. That's I mean, right, you're, you're that's right. Road, yeah, so. we're, we're mission companions yeah. on doing, doing our, our ringing doorbells course, and, yeah. and speaking, speaking the good word about the show. Well, both of you, what does it feel like to come back to uh, U of M country? What does it feel like to come back to Rochester, Rochester Hills country? Oh, it's amazing. I mean, uh, I graduated from Michigan in 2013 from the musical theater department. Wouldn't be here without them. Um, and coming back and getting to go back to campus and stuff, it's so amazing. And the reception is so incredible. Yeah, we have a, we have a blast. I'm, I'm staying at home with my family right now. Are they now watching right here. now? They probably are. My mom probably is. Hi, mom. Hello. Um, uh, and, you know, I, I get to wear my Shinola and, and do my thing, and everybody knows what I'm wearing when I'm here. But, um, you know, so it's, it's been great. We'll probably hit up Slow's Barbecue and Eastern Market on Saturday and do the whole deal. Well, Detroit is rapidly changing, yeah. and the new stadium oh, yeah. is taking shape, and yeah. we've got the rail line, and, and all the hipsters are moving in. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And, uh, yeah. What do you hear when you're out and about and you say, well, I'm from the metro Detroit area? What do people say? Do, is it still, oh, geez, I'm sorry? No, they, no. They, they, Pe people, are, people are catching the word that, it, that it's changing. It's, mm -hmm. it's sort of the, I don't know if I love it, but it is the, the Brooklyn of the Midwest right now yeah. is, is what people are, are calling it so it's pe people know people have heard that that things are shifting and and we I'm, have people advocating for it yeah, so totally we haven't gone full-blown portlandia no not yet, yeah, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> on our way so uh, again tell people about the show where they can see it when they can see it uh, yeah we on? we're at the we're at the fisher theater um for the rest of this week and all of next week and and we actually have a monday night show which is odd yeah. um but we have a monday night show so come check us out on monday night um we also have a lottery so if you show up two hours before the show and enter the lottery um you can get some cheaper tickets that mm -hmm. way. front row amazing tickets yeah Oh, excellent. Well, thank you both for being here, Derek and Gabe. Of course. Uh, I know you. you guys are hungry, so um, I'm going to cut you a sliver of the Avanti. Yes. Yes. Come on. Come <laughs> on. There's nothing spicy or decadent about the Avanti. <laughs> Chuck.